is up youtube it's your girl jenny Jone, and i am back with another video and as you already see by the title today i finally have my apartment tour now y'all have been asking for this video since before i even moved your girl couldn't even leave her mama house and y'all was asking for the video so i finally have the video coming to you guys i have all my furniture we're settled in we're about a month in living here and yeah i think i'm ready to show you guys the place um it's something small it's not really a luxury apartment because where i live i don't think we have like i ain't gonna say i live in the country but compared to like you know atlanta you know the big cities we don't have stuff like that so i just set up for something small and especially with this being my first place i didn't need nothing super extravagant you know what i'm saying i needed something small simple and quiet and that's exactly what i got i love my place um we love the place it fits us and yeah how i'm gonna set up this video is i'm gonna start from the front and head over to the back and i'm gonna let y'all know pretty much where i got everything from i'm gonna try and remember in my head but yeah i'm super excited to show you guys you know if you're on my channel frequently you know that like decor and decorating is like my favorite thing to do like i love going in home goods stores anything to do with just home and decor sign me up because i just love stuff like that everything well mostly everything will be linked down below i tried to find links to stuff i didn't do a full tour of the beauty room because i want to do a full beauty room tour so y'all can see you know everything my makeup all that different stuff i'm not gonna remember too much if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're tiny welcome back and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay so i'm probably gonna be filming from the back camera angle just so i can talk and point and show you guys what i'm doing i don't have nobody recording this video i actually it's like <laughs> it's 5 16 in the morning y'all i have not been asleep for the whole day this is our kitchen you know stainless steel appliances i was very adamant about having stainless steel appliances i didn't want you know i'm more modern i want it stainless steel granite countertops you know what i'm saying i want it all of that like we just you know what i'm saying i was really picky about that and we got it we got everything so yeah we have stainless steel appliances granite countertops we have a nice little sink i would prefer it to be split and we don't have garbage garbage disposal so that's a downside but i still think the kitchen is cute it serves its purpose it's an open floor pan which i like because the kitchen is very open and bigger um but i'm gonna start my refrigerator you know your girl gotta keep the groceries on my deck. i'm trying to you know eat a lot of fruit and stuff like that so we have mangoes oranges kiwi plums apples we got everything strawberries yogurt a lot you know what i'm saying make sure we had condiments and stuff like that because you know you need stuff like that a lot of people forget and they get other stuff but make sure you had condiments because you're gonna need them <laughs> um look into our freezer you know we got our little frozen meals and stuff like that toaster strudels frozen fruit because you will be whipping up the smoothies so yeah we got the frozen fruit thankfully we have an ice maker so we won't have to you know worry about not having no ice so yeah but that's the figure right i don't gotta show y'all too much out of breath baby i'm out of shape that's not even cute like i'm so out of shape. a bad thing that i'm out of shape from just talking like that is <laughs> that's sad but i'm gonna head over to my cabinets we have ample amount of cabinet space um of course you don't have to we got glass plates just because you never know like we might have a fancy dinner night or something might cook something really good and i just love square plates i prefer those over circle plates i got these plates from big lots and they came in a set they got bowls with them and then i just separately bought some plastic plates and bowls just because you know you don't always want to use glass um those came from dollar tree the marble the marble bowls came from Dollar Tree right there. Um, the pink ones came from Target and either Target or Walmart. They, same thing. So, 
the next cabinet are my glasses. And I just want to make sure that I had a lot that we had. Oh my bad, I'm saying I. We had a lot of just kitchen appliances. I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted everything to be together. So we just have this glass set. This also came from Big Lots. And I just think they're really cute. This is a circle shape. I look at stuff like that. And then I have a couple glasses from Dollar Tree. One thing about it, if you're balling on a budget, baby, Dollar Tree, these are thick glasses. Look at the quality. These are thick. So I got the wine glasses from Dollar Tree as well. <coughs> and then up there, we just have some plastic cups. You know, you got to keep some plastic somewhere. Somewhere, baby. And then just right here, I have... Just this little decor, just to dress up this area right here. We have this little thing right here. This came from TJ Maxx, and it just has these little mints in them. And I just feel like it's very fitting to sit right here. And then we have these little gray things. Well, not gray, but white. Um, it says, together we have everything, and thankful, grateful, blessed. And I just thought this was really pretty to put in our kitchen. Now, where did I get these from? I got these from Marshall's. And I just think they're really cute just to sit on the kitchen counter. Like, just look how they look. You know what I'm saying? It just brings character to the kitchen so it's not so plain. And we also got this candle sitting right here, baby. When I tell you this is the best smelling candle I ever smelled, like, it really smelled like a freaking vanilla cake. It smells so bomb. I lit, I lit this candle on my mom's little, little birthday party I had for her. It smells... <laughs> Phenomenal, baby. Phenomenal. Phenom phenomenal. I don't want y'all to climb me or whatever. We do got a little couple broke stuff up in here. I ain't even gonna catch so y'all. Everything not perfect. Um, but we working with maintenance on that. <sighs> they gotta come fix some stuff. I'm really like a soft-spoken person, so I be really dragging my feet with stuff. My grandma and um and them been telling me to go up there and telling them to come fix this stuff. But like I said, I've been dragging my feet because I don't know, I'm, I'm weird with stuff like that. But I gotta learn how to be independent and I gotta learn how to speak up and handle my business. So <sighs> I'm gonna go up there one of these days <laughs> and get our doors and stuff fixed. But I just want to tell y'all that before y'all be like, girl, your door is broke. I know, I know, and don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Look, <laughs> it is what it is. You gotta get, you gotta start somewhere. So this is just our little drawer with tools. Really, I stole these. These my stepdaddy tools. I actually gotta get these back to him. I'ma give them back to him because he's probably looking for them. Um, but I just got extra just little picture hanging things, medicine, batteries. It's really just a miscellaneous drawer. I ain't gonna lie. I got tape. It got me some candy up in there, gum, the extra mints. Like that's really what's in that broke little drawer. <laughs> And that broke little drawer. And then we just have what we light our candles with. And I would have my cutting board in here. My cutting board usually be in there. <coughs> now you go down. And this little drawer, I keep all my baking and cooking wear. A lot of it is in a dishwasher because, you know, we cook tonight. But that's just where I keep like blender. Just cooking stuff goes down here. And this is our dishwasher. That's full. This is our snack drawer. You know, we got to keep the chips on deck. This is really for our guests because our guests is who come and throw down up in here. I really, we really don't touch this stuff. Like, we really had most of the stuff since we moved in. It's been a month. But we just got chips. We just got a bunch of snacks. Fruit snacks. Bread up here. You know, just stuff you may need. So, I'm going to close that up. Yeah, it's nothing much in there paper towel i got this paper towel thing from tj maxx if i'm not mistaken and then i just have a drawer up there i got cooking oil and pancake mix my seasonings drawer one thing about it baby i made sure i had me some seasonings no cap i got every single seasoning i thought i would need because honey honey who i may can't cook that well but one thing about it, my food is going to be seasoned to the tea, and that's on period. After that, it's really nothing. You fade off over to the stove, of course. We got an electric stove, which I am so happy we got. Um, oven. 
this little nice set that we got and it's from big lots if i'm not mistaken but i just think it's nice to have a little nice set and then this just got extra stuff in it <laughs> tuna rice mix some oven mix sugar purpose um sugar flour all kinds of stuff like that this drawer got all our forks and cutlery like i said a lot of this is missing because it's in the dishwasher that i need to start and then has like cooking utensils, baking utensils, and stuff like that, which you can find a lot of these in Dollar Tree. Y'all don't sleep. Me and my broke drawers. Then you migrate over into the sitting dining area. I this table is really little. I wish I would have waited and got a bigger table, but it was actually really cheap. When I find a new table, I'm gonna sell this one. Um, but this is from Wayfair. This set it came in like three or four days. But I think it's just cute just to start off. It matches our aesthetic. And I love a glass, like I love glass, clear, great, everything to do with that. That's it. So I just think it's a nice little table. Um, it was three something if I didn't already say that. But I just think it's cute. And I do need <laughs> to go get some more curtains to go up here because it's kind of bland right there. But y'all see the look we going for. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, it's really pretty and cute. But yeah, I definitely wanna get a bigger table cause this table is too small for my liking. But again, we just started. So we're gonna take everything slowly and one at a time. And then the trash can. Eric complains so bad about this trash can. He swear it's so little and he gotta take it out every day. Um, I like it, it's stainless steel. That little trash can right there was expensive. That trash can was $80. I think I bought it from Home Goods, if I'm not mistaken. Was it $80? I don't wanna lie. It was no more than 80, no less than 60. But it was kinda high for a trash can. But it matches the aesthetic. It matches the kitchen, that's all that matters. Like, I'm, I'm big on looks. Like, I want my, my stuff to, you know, look together if that makes sense but i just think this is so cute let me do a back spin of the kitchen and i just love how i have the little you know pot what are those things the things the pots sit on i just think it's this is all crooked and dirty but i just like how that's all decorated and that wasn't my idea that was you know my friend's idea but I think it still came together really nice. The kitchen looks really cute and just so simplistic. Like, what not to love? Oh, <laughs> cleaning stuff is down here. We got hella cleaning stuff. No dirty house this way, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we gotta make sure we stay clean up in here. Okay, so I would say this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I would be lying if I said it wasn't. It's just the colors, the, it came together so nicely. So this is our living space and it's really open and connected with the kitchen, which I actually like. Um, hardwood floors, love that. But these blue chairs are from at home and I ain't gonna lie, they was kind of hefty. They were $200 a piece, but they're really sturdy chairs. They're really pretty, they're really, nice color blue and i just think they're so cute and we just put these little white pillows in them just for decorative purposes this little ottoman right here um well stool or whatever you want to call it i don't quite remember the price of it but it did come from at home and it matches perfectly with the chairs and then i just put this blanket from my room at home on here and this little like candle holder like this came from both of these candle holders came from hobby lobby the stand and the cup thingy and this candle which smells so good it's called cozy cashmere i light it every now and again but it does smell really good and also it's blue and it matches our aesthetic so you know it was the go <laughs> and then you transfer over to this i want to buy a new rug for this floor this rug is super duper soft, but I feel like it's too casual. 
I want a fur rug. I want a more, well, maybe not even fur. I want something else. So I was thinking maybe I'll buy a new a rug or something and put this in the bedroom. But it's still a nice rug for now. But I do want a different rug. But it's super duper soft. Like we can take a nap on this and it'll be so comfortable. I don't know why I'm out of breath, dog. Like, bruh, what's going on? Like, I literally can't talk. I can't talk. Y'all know what I should've did? I should've started at the front door. My dumb self. I started in the kitchen, but y'all get the picture. This wall over. <sighs> I got these lamps. These come in a set. I bought them off of Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. The set was like 150, but that's for two lamps. So that's like 67, I'm not sure. Everything will be linked in the description box. That's a good thing about this video. I linked everything as I was buying it. If it didn't come from at home or Big Lots or something, I linked everything, completely everything. So y'all can check out the links to the stuff. But yeah, these lamps came from Amazon. And I just think they're so nice. Like, And they give me hotel vibes a little bit, just the shape of them. And just so classy and minimalistic. Like, oh, that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. And I got these glass, I can't talk. I got these glass end tables from Amazon as well. And I also got this table from Amazon as well. Um, Y'all gonna have to click on the prices. I'll insert the prices somewhere on the screen. But I don't think these were over 100, if I'm not mistaken. I think these were relatively cheap and they're really high quality as well, so. If you're looking for you some end table baby or a set or something, get that. But yeah, I got this couch from Big Lots. It was also very cheap, $400 for a couch. I feel like it's relatively cheap. These chairs by themselves was 200. So a couch that's 400, that's cheap. I got that from Big Lots. Also contemplating buying, Eric said he's gonna get the matching love seat for it to put it right here, but I kinda don't want it because I like the open space. But if he buys it, I won't complain. Like it's just more, more seating space. Cause I really don't like people sitting on my chairs. People be coming over here, sitting in my chairs. You girl don't be feeling it. Anyways, but yeah, pillows. I can't tell you where them pillows from. Oh, TJ Maxx. And the other two pillows are from Amazon. They're pillow covers. They're not the actual pillow. So I just bought inserts from Walmart. But all this is linked down below. And then I have this beautiful art abstract work up here from at home. I just think this is so nice. And if y'all watched my video when I was going apartment shopping, I did not want this. But something in me broke down and bought it. I just think it's so nice. It matches in here so well that I couldn't pass it up. So, what I have on the table is just this little tray. I bought this tray from Burlington. It has missing pieces. I wish I would have saw this in the store so I could have got a discount, but I didn't. Um, I also have these little coasters, you know what I'm saying? The remote for the TV. Oh my God, I love this TV, y'all. Like, it's huge. I'm thinking about getting it mounted though. Eric said he think we should mount it. So he can deal with that. <laughs> but these are flowers. Um, my uncle makes like floral arrangements and stuff like that. So he made these for me. He also made the one on the kitchen table. And I just bought this heart. Where did I get this heart from? I think I also got this from Burlington, if I'm not mistaken. And I just put it in here because I want this house to be filled with love and just togetherness and happiness. I'm on good vibes all the time. Like that's just honestly what I want. Um, so just migrating over, just the same thing on this wall. Y'all, if you don't take nothing from this video, you need to get some Febreze plugins. Y'all, these plugins been in here for a month, a month. Look how full it is. They're expensive, not gonna lie, they're kinda high, but I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. They're so potent, you smell them. My favorite smell is Hawaiian Breeze or the tropical one, whatever it is. Invest in you some Febreze plugins, baby. You won't regret it. So moving on to this TV stand, which I got from Wayfair as well. Um, I just got some air freshening in there. Like I like stuff like this, cause I like stuff 
like i like me personally i like stuff like this out of sight out of mind i feel like i don't want a febreze bottle sitting on my end table you know what i'm saying i don't know what y'all can say like i don't know what y'all think that is ocd or whatever i'm not ocd at all but if it's, if it's a little if it's a little aroma in the room get your febreze out the drawer close it back up shaboom there you go um and in here i just got extra bs and then right here i got this mirror that i got from at home this mirror was hmm how much is this mirror eighty dollars yeah this mirror was only eighty dollars i want to get it hung up on the wall for some reason i don't want it just sitting there because i don't know i don't know it's cute but i know when christmas time comes i want to put my christmas tree right there so i was gonna put the mirror on the wall this wall but we can figure that out anytime but yeah i love big mirrors in any place so i'm gonna go to the place that i missed which is when you first walk in i ain't gonna lie y'all i got so many clothes but um this is just has some jackets an extra comforter for guests a canvas that we didn't use curtain rods and this box full of merchandise that i need to sell <sighs> don't get me y'all and then this is the room where our air conditioning unit and our hot water heater is and we just have our broom and dustpan in there because it looked dirty in there anyways <laughs> it for the front half of the house that's the kitchen the living room so next thing y'all gonna see is the guest bathroom then i'm gonna do our bedroom then we're gonna do a highlight which is my beauty room so yeah after you walk in through the front door that's the living room area this is the guest bathroom it's kind of directly across from the front door it is kind of little as far as foot space let me close the toilet <laughs> but um yeah, it's a nice little size bathroom. It has a shower. And y'all, baby, y'all, the showers is what do it for me, baby. Let me show y'all. It's the marble showers for me. It's the square shower heads for me, baby. Like, how could you not? It's the marble, baby. You just feel so, it's just so pretty. It's just a look. What our thing was for this bathroom is to carry on the marble theme. And so we have this little mirror right here. It has marbling on it. Um, I got this from Home Goods. There's no price on it. No, I actually got this from Walmart, I'm lying. That came from Walmart. These two things came from Amazon. They will be linked. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I just have these cotton things and some Q-tips for the guests. These are my Glade plugins. They're not as good as the Fabrice ones. <sighs> Paper towel, soap. It's a marble type of situation. And just this fake plant. And it has a marble type of situation as well. And then under here, we have this basket. Just so people, guests can put their towels, or just extra towels, washcloth, stuff like that. Um, and I got that from at home for how much was this i really don't remember uh maybe i would say it's like i don't know <laughs> maybe like 20 dollars. i know i was complaining because it was so high trash can from home goods no more than 10 dollars. this um little tissue dispenser thing no more than 10 dollars if i'm not mistaken from tj maxx and also this toilet cleaner which is so cute like i said i'm big on aesthetics and looks you don't look at this and say toilet cleaner <laughs> you look at this and say cute um i got this also from at, um home goods and these little plungers y'all if you want to be bad and bougie if you're bad and bougie like me go get you some plungers like this this in disguise get you one this you know what i'm saying this is so cute and simple 
like come on now it's in there you scoop this thing up when you're plunging and you sit back in there like i got these off of amazon they came in a set which was perfect so i just keep that stuff hidden back there just a little bit just because like i said out of sight out of mind just got some towels up here this thing that says home is where the heart is i think i got this from at home like a week ago actually um inside of here we got some bleach cleaning gloves toothpaste <laughs> blow dryer stuff like that granite countertops throughout the bathroom so cute i wish we had a size mirror and counter in our bathroom but we don't but it's cool i don't even come in this bathroom like that um this shower curtain is from at home if i'm not mistaken and it's just a simple gray it's kind of like a satin if you look at it and it just has this band which is so cute and glam and simple and just what i like so as you exit this guest bathroom you're gonna pass the hallway and i just have this thing that says enjoy the little things and this is from at home and then we have our linen closet that we keep almost everything in towels washcloths up there iron extra soap extra toothbrushes extra razors pads q-tips toothpaste miscellaneous smell goods these curtains i need to take back tissue paper towel roach spray we ain't got no roaches baby but you know when it rains, you get them water bugs and all that baby mm -mm. don't got time so we gonna keep us some raid on deck at all times shouts and just our cleaning supplies and i got this big old thing of baby wipes <sighs> but yeah this is just our linen closet then you get to the bedroom this is my favorite room besides my beauty room <laughs> the bed. it's the bed for me baby Ah. So let me give y'all 360 of the room. We could have those cords, but we are not gonna risk that cause we in an apartment. And look how cute the fans are, they're gray. I just think so cute. But okay, Ugh. we got the same lamps in here as the living room, but my side i just have this cute cute blue clock that i actually got from amazon not sure how much it was but i will link it down below can't remember how much it was and i just got this candle that says ocean drive on it oh my god it smells so freaking good it just smells so tropical and beachy and i love it and i also let me turn the light on for you I also have these Forever Roses from Rose Forever. If you don't know what Forever Roses are, these roses can last up to a year. Um, and they don't die like regular roses. Um, so the price may be alarming, but they don't die throughout the year. They're in a pretty velvet box. How can you go wrong? I do have a coupon code for these roses. My code is JADA15. It will also be on the screen. And yeah, shop at Rose Forever. I have the square ivory roses these aren't white these are ivory and i just think they're so cute and i just thought it was so it would look so good on my nightstand you know what i'm saying it just looks it goes with the aesthetic got some cute roses up here chilling looking good and they're so just i don't know i be messing with them i ain't gonna lie i peeled this one off because I, I i do stuff like that but they're so pretty like let me so y'all can fully see them I kind of got dust on the box from sitting right here, but I just look at them. Like, how could you not? That's so pretty. And I see every, I see people all the time with these cute roses, and I be trying to figure out what is the hype. And I didn't know that they're actually real roses. These are real live roses. <laughs> and I had these for a year plus, like. I think that's so cute and I just put them right there but like I said I do have a coupon code for that website so if you a boy watching this and you want to get your girl some forever roses 
go shop with rose forever my code is jaded15 go treat your loved one or get you some forever roses they have all different colors and i think that's so cool they got pink blue they have this color blue which is crazy so yeah shop with them link will be in the bio and yeah next i just have these nightstands y'all already know the lamps from amazon these nightstands were from wayfair i'm gonna open them because undergarments are in them but they weren't much of a sale but i know they were like two something if i'm not mistaken or 150 something next you move over to the bed which is so cute with all its pillows it's like 14 pillows on their bed um this bed is from wayfair as well i it's a whole story about our bed like i would have to make a whole story time about the bed situation because baby this was not the original bed we were supposed to get it's still cute but this ain't what i wanted <laughs> but it has it serves its purpose well it's so cute isn't it isn't it oh shoot my cover flip like is it not the cutest thing ever so i'll just start with this canvas this canvas is from amazon and i was eyeballing it for the longest but when we got this bed and it was darker then the other bed i knew for a fact that i was gonna order it because it matches perfectly but yeah that's from amazon and it was like 80 dollars. the bed is from wayfair it was six on the dot if i'm not mistaken like six something on the dot five dollars five hundred and some change it was cheaper than the other bed so yeah but all these pillows from at home home goods ross target you pick up pillows as you go like all these pillows came from different places um comforter i don't quite remember where that's from if i'm not mistaken it's from ross tj maxx and i just got this cute blue throat cover just sitting right there and this is eric knight's thing you know he got his little pictures up there chat little bro paid football and best ball. i don't know how to act he actually need to clean this frame off but it's actually really cute i begged him for this picture for the longest i really think that's a cute picture i'm gonna steal it one day <laughs> i'm a creep but yeah this is the bedroom this is the curtains we just got our curtains up that was another thing that was holding me up i wanted my curtains up but these curtains really don't even match like they match but <laughs> You could tell they off and they super duper wrinkled, but it's okay. <laughs> so the curtains came from Walmart. Curtain rods came from Walmart. And my mirror came from Amazon. This will link down below. This is similar to the mirror that I have in my beauty room. I just love these big floor mirrors. I just feel like they bring so much shape to a room they make a room look so much bigger if that makes sense i just think it's so cute i can't wait to take selfies when i'm gonna go out in the mirror like you know tv right here i've been binge watching sister sister <laughs> the closet don't get on us too bad the closet is a terrible mess not even gonna lie um i ain't gonna go too deaf in the closet just know this is the size of the closet in the bedroom i don't really have much in here because i didn't want to take up all the space i just have one little crate in here but yeah this is pretty much eric's closet then from the closet you go into our bathroom and I just have these blue mats down. Like I said, our bathroom don't have as much cabinet space as the first bathroom. Well, what is this? Counter space. But it's still, it's still cute. So, these two things came from Walmart. These two like broken crack glass type of things that came from Walmart. These blue top things came from Amazon because the theme of this bathroom is blue, silver, and white. And so, it's really simple. I got this, I got this shower curtain from at home. And it's just, it's like, come on out toilet. 
it's just this silver sparkly type of look it's really cute i also got this from at home like at home really came through with the blue like they had all the blues that we needed and yeah this came from at home and i just think it's so nice it has that stripe of silver perfect and then we got a silver trash can down there and marble bat marble showers in here and y'all look at all this soap from me having to carve for my project my humanities teacher literally made us carve the corinthian capital out of soap if you don't know what the corinthian capital is go look it up and comment on this video and be like wtf are you serious like yes i'm dead for real he made us do that for real for real so you leave our room right next door is my beauty room hey hey and this is my favorite 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 room in the house i'm trying to get stable so i could turn my ring light on i'm sorry if this video bs to y'all but i'm really trying because <laughs> originally eric was supposed to make this video but with work and us doing different stuff we just never got around to it so i'm just trying to record it and get it out the way because i actually this is actually a promo for those roses and i'm on a deadline so <laughs> i was being supposed to post this video but that was what was going to be the promo um a room tour well apartment tour okay so my beauty room i'm really not going to go too in depth because i actually want to do a beauty room tour so i'm really just going to talk about the main things in my beauty room just an overview of it because i want to do a beauty room tour so y'all can see what's everything so i'm not going to be going in depth where this at where that at because that's going to be for another video so you walk in my beauty room you see my vanity and a lot of this stuff is from my room my curtains my mirror that's from my room um my desk i brought my desk my painting for my room well canvas whatever and this beauty wall this is mainly where everyone wants to know where's the beauty wall where's the flower wall from where did you get it from this flower wall is from amazon it did not come like this you have to buy the separate panels so total i paid 400 dollars for this wall um each panel is 20 dollars. so let me show y'all from that first light pink rose to that second well from that first light pink rose to this light pink rose is how big they are or maybe not even that no from this light pink rose to this light pink rose is how wide they well long they are and from about right here to right here is where they stop i'm gonna insert pictures but yeah you have to buy how many how big you want it so they're 20 a piece and i have 20 panels so 20 times 20 is 400. i got this sign that says babe cave from hobby lobby um i'm gonna do big stuff the couch is from amazon as well it was five something that's gonna be linked down below as well um these little these little big old shelf things are actually from walmart so if you can't get the ikea shelves these are excellent dupe they still look as good as the ikea shelves but ikea was bugging like hard like they was talking about you had to pay 200 dollars shipping and it wasn't gonna get there to two months later so no i just looked up did my research and i got these little bookshelves from walmart and they were like 95 a piece and I think it came together so well. I'll show y'all my closet. It's a mess. But yeah, Eric has the other closet because I have this closet, which is actually kind of smaller. But I have so much stuff. It's just such a mess in here, y'all. I don't even like coming in here. All my tennis shoes just stuck over there. I hate coming in here, for real. But yeah, purchase on the door. I ain't gonna go too deep into it. And yeah, this is just my beauty room, but but like I said, I don't want to go too deep into the beauty room because I want to do a separate tour um, in here so I can show y'all everything and just what I just want to do a whole video on my beauty room. Like, that's just what I want to do. <laughs> 
so i'm not gonna go too in depth of this but could y'all see me just taking pictures in front of this cute wall like i just want to dress up every day and take pictures in front of this wall and i would be satisfied like <laughs> but i love this apartment like nobody can convince me otherwise i don't feel like i moved to rush or to impress anybody i moved because that's just what i felt in my spirit like even if i didn't move with eric i was gonna move regardless like god brings stuff on your spirit god brings something on your mind and when it cannot get off your mind that's god telling you that you need to pursue this you need to do that i have a business that i was supposed to be starting and I kept postponing it because I didn't have any space at home to move freely and maneuver and just do me. Like, my room was so small. I was trapping at my room. Like, literally, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sleeping in my room, recording in my room, doing schoolwork in my room. I just felt like I didn't have that extra space that I needed. Like, I just needed more space. I have clothes. I was outgrowing that room. And eventually, I'm going to outgrow this apartment. But I'm blessed enough to have a job, to have <sighs> the line of work I'm in is, you know, it's not your typical 19-year-old. I kind of was, you know, hesitant. And I was like, mm. And especially moving out with a boy, it's kind of scary. You used to live in with your family. But I feel like, Everything is a learning lesson. Now, I also feel like God was telling me to do this because I needed to learn money management. When I tell y'all, I'm not going to, you know, put my business out there and say how much money I make. But I make a sufficient amount of money for my age. And for me to blow it as fast as I blow it, it's not okay. And now I know the, I know the value of money because I actually pay bills now like i'm paying well i'm not paying we're joint paying bills together so you know what i'm saying and also with him like he has to learn the true value of money handle your business first like and i had no sense of responsibility because i was living with my mama like literally like of course i pay on my car i do have to do stuff about my car but nothing major i didn't have no major bills we got lights, water, nothing is included in this apartment, nothing. I feel like I'm learning responsibility. That's the most way I can put it. Like, I'm just learning responsibility. And in the midst of this, I'm stacking my coin. You know, one day I do want to get a house, but I'm hoping to get a house when I graduate, when I feel like I'm more stable. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I tried to kind of do it rush rush because it is five o'clock in the morning. You <laughs> know, I need to get in the bed because I've been up since 10 o'clock this morning doing stuff, running errands, but I'm just so excited. Like we've been living here for a month. And it just I'm not gonna say it feel good paying rent, but it just feel good, like I don't know how to describe it, y'all. I've been over here 10 minutes talking. But I don't know how to describe it. But it just feels good, like, knowing that your bills paid, that you did that. Like, the month passed and you got another month to go. But I'm not stressing about paying bills. Like, I'm not hurting for anything, nothing. So, I just feel like I needed my space. I'm ready to start my business. And it's just going to flourish from there. Like, hopefully no kids, no time in the future. Like, I just want to be able to live my life how I want to live my life. Take trips, travel, be young, youthful. Live my life. And yeah. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I slid got in my feelings a little bit rambling right there. But I just feel like I'm so blessed. Like, God, this past year has blessed me beyond measures like i can't even lie i honestly thought i was making a mistake when i left clayton state like i felt like i was out of school for a semester i didn't go to school in january i was out of school the whole spring semester and i felt like i wasn't doing nothing with my life but god has just been blessing me like i don't know what i did to deserve this but i'm so blessed so i'm just telling y'all pray keep up with yourself 
and do what you need to do handle your business follow your path don't let nobody speak into your mind tell you what you should do what you shouldn't do do what you want to do period don't listen to nobody if you got your mindset on something do it carry it out period and that's with anything it's starting a youtube doing youtube that's going to college that's playing the sport do you don't let nobody tell you something you can't do because look or don't let nobody say i wouldn't do that like no this is not your life you ain't gotta live it <laughs> You ain't gotta live it. It's mine yours. Just be proud of me and go about your business. <laughs> Thanks. Like, that's all it be. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm rambling like I always do. I want to thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Stay tuned for that 200k giveaway because I am going all in. It's Liddy. And yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next freaking video.